This week we read the Parshios of Tazria and Mitzora. Parshios Tazria begins, Isha ki Tazria v'yalda zachar, a woman who gives birth to a baby boy, goes on to describe the laws of ritual purity and impurity, Tumma and Tahara, and one can't help but wonder, what is our status when we enter the world? Are we pure or are we impure? There's a disturbing pasuk, Parshas Noach, where we read that man is evil from his youth. That's how people often cite the verse. And yet we know that when a child is in the womb of its mother, the child is taught the entire Torah by an angel. And so we have a sense that a child enters into the world with a great sense of purity. In a pure spiritual way, the child who is born has not committed any sin, is considered to be free of sin, is considered to be pure. So what is it? Are we pure or are we impure? And indeed, that Pasuk, Kiyetza Lev Adam Ram Min Urav, is understood by the Medrash in Tehillim, Misha Ninar Mimei Imo, when the baby is shaken from the innards of its mother. The resolution, I think, comes from closely looking at that Pasuk in Parshas Noach. We do not believe in the concept of original sin. We do not believe that man is inherently evil. The issues of moral evil and the human condition have occupied the minds of Jewish and secular philosophers for centuries. But the Pasuk tells us, Ki yetzer leiv ha'adam ramin urav, that the inclination of the heart of man is evil from its youth, which suggests not that a human being has, heaven forbid, inherently evil or bad, but rather human beings have the capacity to be evil, they have the capacity to do that which is wrong. This past week we commemorated 75 years since the Holocaust, Yom HaShoah, and many of us thought about what it means to be evil, what it means to be cruel and brutal, like a Hitler Yamach Shemot. should never know from such evil. It's hard to believe that a human being is capable of such evil. But the capacity for evil, the potential for evil, is a blessing because it tells us that we have the potential to be good. We have the potential to do that which is proper, to do that which is right, to do that which is correct. Is not a, a sentence of denigration. Rather, it offers a glimpse of hope. It's in our hearts, it's in our inclination to decide how we choose to live. We have to make decisions in our lives. We are imbued with the Torah we are, when we are in utero. But it's the decisions that we make when we come into this world that affect our lives and the lives of others. We can destroy, we can kill, we can maim and murder like Hitler and his henchmen, or we can build. We can care, we can be kind, compassionate, and loving. I am thinking about this question now 
Because at some level, metaphysically, I think, we are all in the womb. We are somehow in a regressive state, stuck in our homes, not out there in the world, not involved with our regular schedule. And as we are stuck in the wombs of our homes, it's a time to think, a time to ponder, and a time to wonder what we will be like when we exit. When we get out of this terrible pandemic, how will we live our lives? What will our priorities be? Will it be to get ahead in the rat race? Or perhaps, instead of worrying about what others think about us, instead of competing with others, trying to outdo others, maybe, maybe, we will focus more on being kinder, on being gentler, being better, being more considerate, spouses, kinder parents, more concerned children, nicer to our colleagues. Maybe we'll decide to spend even more time studying Torah, doing chesed, performing acts of tzedakah. Maybe our priorities will be more pure. It's a difficult time to be sequestered, to be quarantined, to be homebound for such a long period of time. But spiritually, we have to look at the blessings and the opportunities it provides us with. And one of those opportunities is to think about what will we be, what will we be like when we come out of the womb? What will we be like when we emerge, when we exit? I encourage you, think about it. Recognize what's truly important in this world and make a decision, make a commitment to be better, to be kinder. So that when we emerge, we emerge not to a world of impurity, but to a world of Tahara, to a world of Kedusha. May we merit that time. Amen.